Hello everybody. So today I wanted to share with you an update that Microsoft just released yesterday about Windows 11. So if you'll notice on the computer, I have an article pulled up that says they're now allowing users to update to Windows 11 on older unsupported hardware, including systems that don't meet the operating system's strict hardware requirements. And while the company initially set these requirements, including the need for a TPM 2.0 chip and specific processor models to ensure performance, reliability, and security, it has now provided a manual installation option for those who want to use Windows 11 on unsupported machines. Now, you could already go ahead and install Windows 11 on a machine that was not supported just by following along with one of the videos that I've already put up. You could either use the forward slash product server option, or you could just go in and do the registry keys where you can tell it that you want to bypass the CPU, bypass the TPM, bypass the RAM requirements, not worry about secure boot. You could put all those registry keys in and still install Windows 11. However, they're going to allow you to install it on other computers that you wouldn't have to do that. Now, they still want for you to go and they want you to use their PC Health Check app in order to make sure that your computer is going to be compatible enough to run Windows 11. So there may still be some things that you have to do, but if you don't want to do those, you can simply not worry about it at all and go ahead and use one of the other bypass options. But I wanted to let you all know about that because this is a big change from Microsoft they normally were not going to allow you to install it on your computer at all unless you had a supported CPU, you had secure boot, you had TPM 2.0, you had enough RAM, and now it looks like they may be backtracking on that just a little bit because I think so many people have not moved to Windows 11 for one of those reasons. Now, some of the other people may not have moved over to Windows 11 for the simple fact that they may not like the interface. They may not like the way that Windows 11 looks. They also might have a bunch of programs that won't work with Windows 11. I know that I help a lot of people, and they have older versions of QuickBooks, and they do not want to move to Windows 11 because the older versions of QuickBooks will not work. So you may want to check that if you have an old version of QuickBooks. It might not run on Windows 11. So just check that out before you do install the Windows 11 update. And that would keep you from having any problems if you did want to go to Windows 11. But if you have any questions about this, please let me know down below in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to get back to you about it. And if there's a video that you would like for me to create for you, please let me know that down below in the comment section as well. And I'll do my best to create that video for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like this. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. Have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.